On November 29, 2024, South Korea announced the completion of its indigenous long-range service to MSR system, the AeroSAM, marking a significant advancement in its air defense capabilities. Developed to counter North Korea's escalating ballistic missile threats, the AeroSAM is a cornerstone of South Korea's multi-layer air defense network, Korea Air and Missile Defense. This system aims to protect South Korean territory and population from high altitude missile threats while strengthening national security against potential regional conflicts. The LSAM system is a state-of-the-art air defense solution designed to intercept ballistic missiles at altitudes above 40 km with an operational range of 50 to 60 km. It incorporates advanced radar systems capable of early detection and tracking, providing the situational awareness needed to respond to high altitude threats. At the heart of the system are high-precision interceptor missiles engineered to neutralize ballistic threats during their mid-course or terminal fly phases. A key feature of the AeroSAM is its mobile launch platform, which allows for a flexible deployment across varied terrains, enhancing its operational versatility. The system seamlessly integrates with existing missile defense platforms, including the Patriot Advanced Capability 3 and MSAM 2, adding a critical high altitude interception layer to South Korea's multi-layer air defense framework. This integration makes the AeroSAM an essential component of the South Korea air and missile defense architecture, ensuring robust and comprehensive protection against evolving ballistic missile threats. The AeroSAM's Block 2 upgrade, which is under development, aims to intercept targets at even higher altitudes, ensuring South Korea remains ahead of evolving threats from North Korea's advanced missile programs. The AeroSAM addresses the escalating missile threats posed by North Korea, including intercontinental ballistic missiles capable of reaching the U.S. mainland and submarine launch ballistic missiles designed for a stealthy surprise attacks. Its ability to intercept targets at altitudes between 50 and 60 km provides a vital layer of defense, enhancing South Korea's capacity to neutralize threats before the rich populated areas or critical infrastructure. Incorporating advanced technologies, the AeroSAM improves South Korea's overall missile defense capabilities and bolsters the Korea Air and Missile Defense System. By reducing reliance on foreign systems like the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense THAAD, the AeroSAM reflects a broader commitment to defense self-reliance. Additionally, its flexibility and integration into the country's three-axis defense strategy alongside the Kyurchen preemptive strike platform and the Korea Massive Punishment and Retaliation System underscore its strategic value in deterring and countering regional threats. The AeroSAM enter a competitive landscape of regional missile defense systems. Japan employs the Aegis Assault and SM-3 interceptors capable of targeting ballistic missiles in space. While these systems have greater range, the AeroSAM offers flexibility with its mobile platforms and cost effectiveness as a domestically produced system. China's HQ-19 operates similarly to the AeroSAM but with extended capabilities in targeting intermediate-range ballistic missiles. However, 
the LSAM is tailored specifically to counter North Korea's threats, offering enhanced integration with South Korea's existing defense infrastructure. India's ballistic missile defense program features systems like the AAD and PDV, designed for both endo-atmospheric and exo-atmospheric interception. While compatible, the LSAMs focus on multi-layer defense within a compact geographical area gives it an edge in operational readiness and deployment flexibility. The AROSAM represents a significant milestone in South Korea's pursuit of advanced self-reliance defense capabilities, positioning the country as a leader in missile defense technology. Its development highlights the nation's growing expertise in creating systems tailored to specific regional threats, particularly those posed by North Korea. As the AROSAM enters production and deployment, it not only enhances South Korea's international security, but also solidifies its standing as a critical player in regional stability. The system's potential extends beyond domestic use. Its high altitude interception capabilities and cost-effective design could attract interest from nations seeking advanced air defense solutions without relying on major global powers. Furthermore, the ongoing development of the Block 2 version ensures the AROSAM remains ahead of emerging missile technologies, reinforcing its relevance in the face of evolving threats. By integrating cutting-edge domestic technologies and contributing to global defense markets, the AROSAM sets the stage for South Korea to influence the future of missile defense strategies worldwide. The AROSAM is a transformative step for South Korea's national defense, addressing immediate threats while positioning the country as a technological leader in the missile defense. Its completion marks a milestone in the country's journey toward self-reliance security and its contribution to regional stability amid growing geopolitical tensions. <laughs>